Imagine just for a moment that our Earth started orbiting a black hole. What do you think would happen? A black hole, that mysterious cosmic phenomenon, the ultimate devourer of light and time. Now picture our beautiful blue planet, the Earth, circling around it like a moth drawn to an enigmatic flame. A chilling thought, isn't it? But mind you, this is not a prophecy of doom. It's a hypothetical scenario, an intriguing thought experiment that invites us to explore the boundaries of our understanding about the universe. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, black holes are not just fascinating, they're enigmatic. These cosmic giants are places where the laws of physics as we know them cease to apply. So what would happen if our home, our Earth, found itself in a cosmic dance with a black hole? Would we be sucked into an inescapable vortex of darkness, or could we continue to exist in some altered yet recognizable form? It's a thought that tickles the imagination, doesn't it? What would the sky look like? Would our days and nights remain the same? How would our climate change? And what about gravity, the fundamental force that holds everything together? Would we still walk the earth, or would we find ourselves floating in a strange, weightless world? These are the questions that we'll try to answer today. We'll delve into the heart of a black hole, we'll ride the waves of space-time, and we'll step into the realm of the unknown. We'll probe the depths of our scientific knowledge, challenge our assumptions, and maybe, just maybe, we'll stumble upon some new insights about the universe and our place within it. But before we embark on this cosmic journey, let's pause for a moment, reflect on what we've just imagined our Earth, our home, orbiting a black hole. It's a scenario that's as terrifying as it is fascinating, as unsettling as it is enlightening. Hold on to these thoughts as we journey through the cosmos and explore this fascinating hypothetical scenario. Before we dive into our main topic, it's essential to understand what a black hole is. A black hole is a region in space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. These cosmic phenomena are formed from the remnants of massive stars that have undergone a supernova explosion. Imagine a star, significantly larger than our own sun, reaching the end of its life. The energy that kept the star's matter spread out is depleted, and the star collapses under its own gravity. This collapse causes a spectacular explosion known as a supernova, and what's left is a core of matter so dense, so compact, that it warps the fabric of space and time around it. This is the birth of a black hole. But a black hole isn't just a point in space, it's a point of no return. Surrounding each black hole is an invisible boundary known as the event horizon. Cross this line and you're in the black hole's clutches forever. The pull of gravity is so strong here that it distorts space and time, a concept known as spaghettification. In simple terms, if you were to venture too close and fall into a black hole, you would be stretched out like a piece of spaghetti. Despite their ominous name and reputation, black holes are fascinating objects. They are key players in the life cycle of stars and the evolution of galaxies. They challenge our understanding of physics, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Black holes are not just science fiction. They are real, they are out there in the cosmos and they continue to captivate scientists and stargazers alike with their mysterious nature and the tantalizing possibility of what lies beyond the event horizon. Now that we have a basic understanding of black holes, let's delve into what would happen if Earth orbited one. So, what would happen if Earth found itself in the grasp of a black hole's gravity? Well, firstly, we'd need to consider gravitational time dilation. Now, you might be thinking, what's that? Simply put, it's a difference in the elapsed time measured by two observers due to a gravitational field. In the context of a black hole, time would appear to slow down as we get closer to it. So, if you could somehow watch Earth from a safe distance, you'd see our planet slowing down, like a record on a turntable gradually winding down. Next up, tidal forces. These are differences in gravity from one place to another, and they're what cause our ocean tides but a black hole's tidal forces are much stronger and they could potentially tear Earth apart. This isn't your everyday high tide. We're talking about forces so powerful they could pull the Earth apart like a loaf of bread. 
Lastly, let's talk about spaghettification. As humorous as the term sounds, it's a rather grim phenomenon. If Earth were to approach a black hole, the difference in gravity between the side of the Earth closest to the black hole and the side farthest away would be so vast that it could stretch our planet out into a long, thin, noodle-like shape. Hence the term spaghettification. But it's not all doom and gloom. These scenarios are purely theoretical and rely on a lot of ifs and buts. For instance, if our black hole was supermassive, the tidal forces wouldn't be as destructive and we might avoid spaghettification. Plus, if we were in a stable orbit around the black hole, we could even potentially survive, at least for a while. Think of it like this. We're on a cosmic roller coaster and the black hole is the ultimate thrill ride. It's scary, it's exciting, and we're not entirely sure what would happen, but we're strapped in and ready for the ride. These are just a few possibilities, but let's dive deeper. The impacts we've discussed so far are quite dramatic, but there's more. So, we've established that life on Earth would be a roller coaster ride if our planet was in the orbit of a black hole. But how about some other aspects of our existence? Let's consider light and temperature. With the black hole's gravity bending light around itself, we would likely experience a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. This would result in a strange, warped view of the universe. Our night sky would appear distorted, with stars and galaxies twisted into arcs and rings. Now imagine the sun's light being siphoned off by the black hole. The temperature on Earth would plummet. The world would be plunged into a perpetual winter, making it impossible for most life forms to survive. Then there's our magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field, which protects us from harmful solar radiation, could also be affected. If the black hole's gravitational pull was strong enough, it might even disrupt the dynamo effect that generates our planet's magnetic field. This could lead to a catastrophic loss of our atmosphere, similar to what scientists believe happened to Mars billions of years ago. And finally, the potential for total annihilation. If Earth strayed too close to the black hole, tidal forces could tear our planet apart. This process, known as spaghettification, would stretch and compress Earth until it was a thin stream of matter spiraling into the black hole. But before you start panicking, Remember that this is all speculative. The chances of Earth finding itself in the orbit of a black hole are infinitesimally small. And even if it did, we would likely have millions if not billions of years to prepare or find a new home. It seems that life as we know it would be drastically different, if not completely impossible. It's clear that the scenario of Earth orbiting a black hole is rife with danger and uncertainty. Let's take a step back and look at the journey we've embarked upon today. We began by understanding what black holes are. Regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. We've explored how they function, how they form, and the incredible, mind-bending physics that govern their existence. Next, we dove into the theoretical impacts of Earth being in the orbit of a black hole. We discussed the possible effects on our planet's structure and climate, and the potential for time dilation, a concept so strange it seems to have leapt straight out of a science fiction novel. We also navigated the further consequences and possibilities. We grappled with the idea of Earth's survival and the continued existence of life as we know it. We pondered the implications for our technology, our communication, and our ability to explore the cosmos. But we must remember, this is all theoretical. It's a thought experiment, a what-if scenario. It's not a forecast or a prediction of what's to come. It's a leap of imagination into the unknown, driven by our curiosity and our unquenchable thirst for knowledge. It's important to note that black holes, despite their ominous name and reputation, are not cosmic vacuum cleaners. They don't go around the universe sucking up planets. Our Earth is not in danger of being captured by a black hole. We're safe, nestled in the warm, reliable gravity of our sun, over 26,000 light years away from the nearest known black hole. While it's intriguing to ponder such a scenario, it's comforting to know that our Earth is safe in the embrace of our sun's gravity, far away from any black holes. But remember, the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be explored. Until next time, keep wondering, keep exploring, and keep learning.